The screencast will focus on finding scholarly sources. On the library's website, we have a dedicated page which helps you determine whether or not a source is scholarly. Sometimes they can be tricky, so always remember if you have any questions about a source to ask me or your professor. To get to the library's page on scholarly sources, go to library.raritonval.edu. The page is under Students and Research Help, Identifying Scholarly Articles. To identify scholarly articles, you need to apply the following criteria. It's essentially a who, what, why, and how kind of list. This site compares a scholarly journal to a popular journal. The Journal of Nursing Education versus Time Magazine. Remember that just because something is not considered scholarly, that doesn't diminish its value, it just doesn't fit into this specific criteria. So let's get started in figuring this out. Who writes them? Scholarly articles are written by scholars, professors, and researchers. It is important to remember that they are experts in a specific field. Popular sources are written by journalists or reporters and staff writers. Popular sources can also be written by scholars, but that doesn't mean that they are now scholarly articles. Who reads them? Researchers and experts, professors, scholars, and people with in-depth knowledge of a subject. The list of who writes them and who reads them is pretty similar. Popular sources are read by the general public or those who do not have an in-depth knowledge of a topic. Think of a magazine that you would find in a doctor's office waiting room. What do they look like? Keep in mind the type of source you'd find in a doctor's office waiting room. They are easy to read, have a lot of photos and images, and usually have a lot of ads. Scholarly articles will not have ads, they'll usually be black and white, and any images they have will either be charts and graphs or photos that explain studies or research. Another good hint is that scholarly articles will have a lot of references or works cited page at the end, and they are usually very long, more than 5, 7, 10, even 20 pages. What's in them? Scholarly journals contain original research and reports on studies, in-depth analyses of a very specific subject, and critical analysis or literary criticism. Popular sources contain current and world events, popular culture and entertainment pieces, or articles that are opinion or have an emotional slant or bias. Who evaluates them? This is probably the most important piece of criteria that goes into determining whether an article is scholarly or not. Scholarly journal articles are also known as peer-reviewed journal articles because they are published by a process where a panel of the author's peers evaluates the credibility of the article. Articles published in a popular source are fact-checked, grammar, and typo-checked, but they are not reviewed by a panel, usually just editors and publishers. And finally, what should I use them for, or what should you use them for? You're probably thinking this is great and all, but why do I need scholarly sources? Simply, you need to know what experts say about your topic so you can use it to support your thesis. Finding out the most current research about very specific elements of your topic can help build your argument and support your claims. You use popular sources to get an overall understanding or introduction to your topic, but when you use scholarly sources, you get real research and findings from experts on your topic. To conclude, scholarly articles may also be called peer-reviewed, and you'll find that you'll see academic journal as well. Keep in mind that not all content in a scholarly journal is considered peer-reviewed. There are editorials, reviews, and occasionally opinion pieces, so you still need to remember to apply the criteria to the articles you've found.